Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome along to our uh, uh, small, intimate press conference today. Uh, thanks for braving uh, the pandemic to come and see us. As you see, we're taking all precautions we can, but do continue to wear your mask if, uh, if you, it doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. Um, well, today, uh, our speaker is uh, Makoto Watanabe. He's the editor-in-chief of uh, what used to be called um, the Wasada Chronicle, and it's now called Tansa, sorry, Investigative Newsroom Tansa. I hope I've got the name right, yeah. Um, he uh, has, is no stranger to the club. We've written about him, and uh, I think he has talked to us before. Just to give you some background, uh, Watanabe-san was part of an innovative investigative unit at the Asahi Shimbun. Uh, he quit. Uh, after the newspaper famously, a famous incident where the newspaper retracted an article on the paper's coverage of the Fukushima nuclear accident. The uh, article had revealed chaos at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant uh, during the 2011 disaster. Uh, the Asahi president announced its retraction in September 2014. Uh, Watanabe-san and his colleague Hideaki Kimura uh, they quit the newspaper and founded the Wasada Chronicle, which is an online, or was an online, non-profit investigative newspaper uh, They used to operate in a small office. That's where I interviewed them a couple of years ago. Uh, they want to, the newspaper wants to plug what it sees as a gap in investigative journalism in Japan. The mainstream media, they argue, have been narcotized by advertising and the press club system, official sources from the government down, drip feed information to the press. Uh, it doesn't occur to most journalists to chase down stories, to investigate stories, he says, and that's where they come in. Uh, among their current projects, and I think the project that Watanabe-san is going to talk most about today, is uh, aggressive sales tactics by Japanese newspapers as they fight declining circulations. Thousands of complaints every year are made regarding elderly people often suffering from dementia, being pressured to take out subscriptions. The Japanese media notes Watanabe-san uh, perhaps understandably has not picked up on this story. We're hoping he will also talk about some of the other scoops and other the investiga uh, investigative projects that uh, his uh, newspaper is involved in. We have several young reporters uh, from the newspaper here. I was talking to them earlier on. Uh, the translator today, or the interpreter, I should say, is Obukatisura Annalise Geisbert. Is that right? Geisbert. Geisbert. My apologies. Geisbert. Uh, she's going to be your interpreter. Can I uh, remind you to switch off your uh, cell phones if you haven't already done so? By the way, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is David McNeil. I'm the co chair of the PAC committee at this club. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having us uh, at the FCCJ today. So, the topic we are going to discuss is about Japanese newspapers. So the Japanese media has not raised this issue themselves. So we would like your help to introduce this topic to a wider audience. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us today. From now, Japanese. え、問題のきっかけ、え、取材するきっかけになった出来事がありました。え、これはですね、ある、ま、80代の高齢の女性が、え、認知症なんですけども、え、朝日新聞、え、読売新聞、産経新聞、毎日新聞、この4紙とです
、そういった人にまで、えー、押し売りをするというのは聞いたことがなかったので、非常に驚きました。Um, so, maybe in the past there might have been rumors that、uh, with、um, newspaper distributors there might have even been some Yakuza involvement,、um, but、um, where it's unknown if that story is true. And actually, based on Watanabe san's personal experience working for a newspaper distributor、um, between high school and his university years,、um, there was nothing like that. And in fact, there was no coercive soliciting、um, that he saw. それでこういったことが本当に今頻繁に起きているのかということを調べるために国民生活センターに情報公開請求をかけたところ月にですね100件以上の苦情ですねこういった認知症のお年寄りであるとかあと目が不自由なお年寄りで特に一人暮らしですよねのお年寄りを狙って押し売りが行われていると。でそういったことに対する苦情が月100件来てましたと。Um, so then, to start our investigation, we、um, sent a freedom of information request to the、uh, National Consumer Affairs Center of Japan, which compiles、um, complaints and requests for advice from consumer affairs centers across the country. And we asked for.、Um, Uh, descriptions of those cases relating to newspapers and、uh, elderly individuals.、Um, and what we found, based on three months of、uh, cases that we examined, was that over 100 cases per month、um, pertain to elderly individuals and newspapers. And often these cases involve elderly individuals with、um, showing signs of dementia or with bad eyesight, and often、um, elderly individuals who are living alone. はい、でこれは今3つた、ま、あの抽出してピックアップしました、これ、2020年4月の例ですね、まあ、2020年4月といえば、4月から5月にかけて、えー、コロナで緊急事態宣言が出てた時ですよね、でこの緊急事態宣言の時でも、ですね、えー、高齢者の自宅に行って、えー、お尻りをしていると、でえー、一番上は、まあ、認知症のお年寄り、1人暮らしのお年寄りのところにお尻り。で次はですね、えー、これは、えー、外国の方はご存じないかもしれないですけども、えー、新聞の購読を契約するときに、先起こしという言葉があって、これは、えー、例えば1年間は朝日新聞をこれから契約します、そしてその1年後は次は読売新聞を契約します、さらにその2年後は、えー、今度は毎日新聞ですというように、ずっと先まで、えー、契約が埋まる、契約で埋まると、でそういう形で、ずっと契約させっていうのをまあ先起こし、それがこの2番目の例ですね。だから今からえねえ2年の契約をえやってくださいと。で、3つ目のえ例もですね、これはまあひどいなと思うんですけども、要は目が見えないと。で、高齢になって目が不自由になっているにもかかわらず、どうせ新聞が読めないから、もうそんな購読できないからと言っても、それでも売ると。これらの例から言うと、これもほとんど犯罪ですよね。So、um, here you can see there are three examples that we picked up from among the cases that were reported in April 2020. And、um, as I'm sure you all know, that was just the beginning of、um, the pandemic sort of ratcheting up in Japan. It was when the、um, first state of emergency、uh, was issued by the government. But despite the pandemic and the state of emergency,、um, there we could see from these cases no, dec no substantial decrease in the number of coercive solicitations、uh, to elderly individuals.、Um, so, from these three examples, you can see a couple different patterns. The first,、um, as I mentioned before, of、uh, elderly individuals with dementia and living alone. And in this instance, the woman、um, was even a little bit frightened by the solicitor who wouldn't take no for an answer and then ended up taking out a subscription. So then the second example that we picked up here, again、um, with an elderly woman living alone、uh, and was just really, I guess, aggressively. Um, asked to take out a subscription. But then the point here is that、uh, the subscription is a two year subscription starting three years from now.、Um, so this is a technique that maybe,、um, at least in my experience, I had never heard of it、uh, abroad.、Um, 
But in Japan, sometimes newspaper subscriptions will start、uh, multiple years in the future, as in this case. And this is because, like, for example, if a person is currently subscribed to、um, paper A, but then a solicitor from paper B comes, they'll say, oh, okay, well, we'll wait till your contract with paper A ends, but then you can take out a, pay,、uh, a subscription from our paper starting a few years down the line. So they're,、uh, I guess, securing those subscriptions for the future. Um, and then the last one, the third one, is again、uh, an elderly woman living alone. And she remembers the, the solicitor stayed for a whole 30 minutes.、Um, but this woman has bad eyesight, so it's probably very difficult for her to read the paper. But even if she refused, saying, I just, even if I took out a subscription, I wouldn't be able to read it,、um, the solicitor just didn't take no for an answer, and she ended up.、Uh, Yeah, taking out that subscription. Okay. で重要なのはですねこういった国民生活センターに、えー、相談を寄せてこられる人っていうのはその家族が見つけてくれるとかあと介護のヘルパーさんが見つけてくれるとかでそういった人たちがいたからこそこう相談が、えー、寄せられてるわけですねところが本当に家族と疎遠になっている、えー、お年寄りがの場合ですねえー、相談でできないですよねしかも認知症を患っていたら余計できないとなのでこういった国民生活センターに月100件の、えー、苦情が来ていますけども、えー、こういった事例っていうのは本当にごく一部実際はもっと多くのですね、えー、被害者がいると思われます。Um, so, another、uh, important point about this issue is that often the complaints that are made to consumer affairs centers they are from elderly people who have a strong support system. They either have family members looking out for them, or maybe some sort of caregiver、um, comes to their house regularly, for example. Um, but um, there are plenty of elderly individuals in Japan who don't have that kind of support system, who don't have people checking in on them regularly, and who can advocate, them, advocate for them if an issue comes up.、Um, so, although we have found, based on our freedom of information requests, that、um, a little over 100 cases per month、um, seems to be average, but it could be just the tip of the iceberg because there probably are elderly individuals who cannot advocate for themselves. はい、それここでちょっとあの日本の新聞社の仕組みをお伝えしますあの新聞の販売をする新聞販売店というのは、えー、新聞を発行する、えー、新聞社とは別会社なんですねなので、えー、新聞社にとっては新聞販売店は、えー、取引先ということになりますただし、えー、対等な関係ではなくですね、えー、新聞社の販売局、えー、本社の販売局が、えー、その販売店を統括して、えー、指導する立場です圧倒的に力が強いですだから、えー、よく、えー、新聞販売店で不祥事が起きた時に、えー、新聞社が出すコメントは、えー、取引先が、えー、こういったことをしましたというふうにちょっとこう責任をね回避する言い方をしますけども、えー、実際は、えー、しっかりですね、えーコントロールしているというこの力関係を把握していただきたいと思います。Um, so, to explain a little bit about how the、um, system works in Japan for distributing newspapers. So, the distributors are contracted by newspaper companies、um, to distribute their papers, but they are in fact a separate company from the paper itself.、Um, however, the newspaper company is much larger、um, than the individual distributors and、um, will give them directions and tell them how to conduct their business to a certain extent. And so, in this system, although the distributors are the ones、um, sending their、uh, solicitors and sales agents to go knock on people's doors and try to make a sale,、um, in this system overall, the newspaper companies are much larger and have much more power. Okay. Hi. So, the Nihon no Shinbun Shawa, Shinbun no Gyokai, wa. えー、どういう態度をとっているかというとですね日本新聞協会というのは、えー、この、えー、こういったこう修理を防止するためのですね、えー、不詳性勧誘つまり相手が、えー、もう来ないでくれという意思を,表示意思を示した人にはもうあの勧誘しませんとセールスをしませんというのを不詳性勧誘というんですけども、えー、これを禁止するという。特定商取引法の改正の動きがあったんですけれども、日本新聞協会はこれに強く反対しました。
Um, so to speak a little bit about how uh, the major Japanese newspapers view this issue, um, we looked into an instance in 2015 when Japan's Consumer Commission was considering amending the Specified Commercial Transactions Act, which um, is a law regulating uh, yeah, sales activities, etc. Um, and so in 2015, uh, the government was considering whether to amend the act to uh, ban unwelcome, unwelcome soliciting, where people have made it clear that they do not want a salesperson to come try and make a sale with them. Um, however, the Japan Newspaper Publishers and Editors Association, um, when they participated in a hearing um, as this uh, amendment was being considered, they strongly objected to the law being amended and to unwelcome soliciting being made, uh, like being clearly made illegal. え、um, so then when, uh, when this amendment was being considered at the Consumer Commission, at the, an expert committee, a, uh, the head of the Consumer Affairs Agency's Consumer Transaction Division, when he was giving, um, I guess, responses uh, to questions in the meeting, he specifically stated that, um, that solicitors, uh, he used the ex expression, prey upon elderly individuals. Um, however, as I mentioned before, when the uh, major Japanese newspapers were asked for their input, they strongly objected to this amendment. And um, the representative of the Japan Newspaper Publishers and Editors Association that participated in these meetings was um, then board member uh, Yamaguchi, who, um, who is from the Yomiuri Group. Is president? Yeah. Mm, hi. Okay, next. で、こうしたその新聞業界がえ、この押し売りにしっかり取り組まないと、押し売り防止に取り組まないという背景にですね、ま、新聞の部数の減少があるわけですね。で、この減少のスピードはすごく早まっていて、え、2019年から2020年に
Um, so then, as another part of our investigation, we sent questions to 50 papers throughout Japan, both national papers and regional papers, and we asked them specifically whether they were aware of coercive soliciting uh, existing among their distributors. And um, from those 50 papers, only 21 responded. But within those 21 responses, we thought um, we could maybe see a trend. Um, or to start with the responses from the national papers, the Mainichi Shimbun acknowledged the existence of coercive soliciting of elderly individuals among its distributors, but said it was working to improve the situation. And then the Asahi Shimbun and Sanke Shimbun um, did not deny the presence of uh, coercive soliciting, but they were also kind of vague in their response. And the Yomiyori Shimbun uh, did not respond at all, even after we called asking or reminding them to send us an answer. And just uh, a point is that the Yomiyori Shimbun has the highest circulation of um, any paper in Japan. Uh, so out, uh, we didn't, yeah, and then, but all, uh, sorry, and the the Nikkei Shimbun um, was the only national paper that gave us a flat denial that, uh, that they said coercive soliciting was definitely not happening within uh, among their distributors. So when it comes to regional papers, um, we heard back from a number of them, but all of them denied uh, coercive soliciting among their distributors. Um, of course, there are some papers that didn't respond, but from the responses we received, uh, we can see a trend that national, that probably coercive soliciting takes place more in national, among national papers than among regional papers. And this is just Watanabe-san's opinion, but maybe the reason for this is because regional papers uh, are probably doing a little bit um, better financially in recent years than national papers. はい、で、この状況ですね、え、どういう状況かって要するにですね、新聞社と政府はもう癒着してるんじゃないかと。で、なぜそう思うかというとですね、皆さんはご存知でしょうかね。え、2019年の10月に日本の消費税はえ、8
So yeah, we think this is an example of a little bit of special treatment um, for uh, newspaper companies. And then another point um, that we found during our investigation uh, when we spoke with um, a member of the of the Consumer Affairs Agency, um, which obviously uh, looks after consumer issues, um, when we asked them whether the government was taking any steps to respond to this issue of coercive soliciting, which is especially harming elderly individuals, the individual we, uh, yeah, the person there we spoke with said that um, the government was taking no particular steps at this point, but that um, since uh, physical newspapers is sort of a dying industry, that the problem will eventually go away on its own. Sure. But, um, but if we look at different examples of similar cases that have happened uh, even in recent years in Japan, like for example, the Japan Post health insurance scandal, where they were found to have been, um, I guess, uh, pressuring or yeah, getting elderly individuals to take out health insurance in a fraudulent manner. Uh, when, that, um, when that case was revealed, there was a strong reaction against it. And um, yeah, and it was treated as a crime and put an end to. But when similar things happen with uh, newspaper subscriptions, there is a really uh, minimal response to this issue. Just on a, on a point of clarity, sorry, I just want to check something. The, the word that you used, what Tanabe san was yuchaku, yeah? Yuchaku. So, shinbon to seifu wa yuchaku shiteru to. So, my, my understanding of yuchaku, the word is it's collusive. So, would that be correct? It's a collusive relationship between the newspapers and uh, the government. Is that okay? Just for English translation, yeah? Mm, I think I think it's a little bit maybe stronger in English than in Japanese, but sort of like a you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours kind of relationship. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Hi. で、今言葉の問題ありましたけど、なぜそれだけ癒着という強い言葉を使うかっていうと、これはまあ私の取材の結果です。例えばですね、え、日本の新聞社はこの軽減税率が適用
えっとですねあの日本の新聞はですねあの読者の、えー、信頼を失っているだけではなくですね不正を告発しようという、えー、内部告発,告発者の、えー、信頼も失っていると思います今、週刊文春が非常に、えー、頑張っていてスクープをオリンピックの問題をはじめ、えー、いろいろスクープを出していますが、えー、文春とその新聞社他の、えー、メインストリームメディアの違いというのは多分文春は戦うからですだけど新聞は途中で折れてしまうちゃんと戦ってるというふうに少なくとも自分たちは戦ってると思ってるかもしれないけども外からはそう見えていないだから情報が文春に集中する一つ例を挙げると例えば、えー、今回、えー、文春に対して、えー、スクープした文春に対して五輪の組織委がね開会式の内容をスクープしたということで、えー、抗議しましたよねあの時に、えー、新聞社はほとんど沈黙しましたね他のメディアは本来だったら同じ同業者として五輪組織に対して抗議するべきですよねなんでこんなことであのプレッシャーをかけてくるんだとところが戦わない新聞社朝日新聞は、えー、社会面で大きく扱ってましたけどもあれにしても両論兵器組織の言い分はこうだけど、えー、学者専門家は、えー、表現の自由も大事だよと言っていると両論兵器で、えー、ごまかしてますよね明確に自分たちのスタンスを示してないとそういったのを見るとやはりああいったところにですね自分の大事な内部告発の情報を持っていこうと思いませんこの差が今出てきていると思います。Um, so to speak about the、uh, for example あの週刊文春 getting a number of scoops recently um, Watanabe san can see that this is, I guess, indicative of papers、um, or the traditional newspapers losing not only the public's trust, but also the trust of whistleblowers as well. So, when people want to bring、um, a given piece of information to the media, they're starting to go more to、uh, the weekly magazines such as Shunkan Bunshun.、Um, And so, for one example of this,、um, we also paid attention to the,、uh, I guess, the reaction from Japan's papers after、uh, Shunkan Bunshun got a scoop about the Olympics. Like, for example, they revealed、um, plans for the opening ceremony,、um, but,、uh, and then the government was naturally、um, unhappy about this and asked them to retract it. But,、um, Shunkan Bunshun、uh, obviously refused to do so. And they're, I guess, resisting the pressure that's being put on them. And people around them are noticing that. People with information would notice that and then would, want, would identify them as a place to bring their information to. However,、um, just in the specific instance of the I guess the authorities asking,、uh, or the government asking、uh, Bunshun to retract its article about the opening ceremony.、Um, the major papers don't really、uh, delve into this issue, or they don't、um, take a stand and say, like, the government has no right to ask、um, a fellow media organization to retract a perfectly fairly acquired scoop.、Um, Rather, the major papers just sort of present both sides of the issue, saying, like, oh, such and such specialist said this, and then such and such government representative said this. And so they don't、um, really take a strong stand on an issue that concerns their own industry. Thank you.、Um, well, I'm going to、um, scan the room to see if anybody has a question. If you have one, can you put up your hand? I saw Calden's hand first, and then this gentleman second. Uh, don't forget to tell us who you are when you come to the mic. Thanks. Thank you for coming. Aduna Zare, Panorate News. Thanks, David, for this event.、Uh, my first question How much percentage of the uh, subscription uh, pushed by solicitors uh, uh, compared to the total subscription? Like, how, how, man, how many subscribers they managed to get? Out of the total subscription, do you have any information about this? How much、uh, they are successful? And secondly, NHK gets money from everybody by law. So, do you think the newspapers feel they should be treated the same? So, they use this Yakuza style to get、uh, subscription as long as NHK is, is taking the law to get subscriptions? 
And uh, just a short question. Do you have uh, investigative about international and diplomatic issues between Japan and other countries, not only about uh, local issues? Thank you. Sorry, Colin. Sorry. Just a second. Second question one more time, if you don't mind. I didn't catch it. But NHK. Uh, NHK, uh, like everybody has to pay a fee for NHK. It's by the law, I think. So do newspapers feel they have to be treated the same or uh, equal to NHK? And because they don't get this treatment, they use this Yakuza-like uh, subscription pushing. Thank you. First of all, 全体の部数の中の押し売りのパーセンテージ。これはわからないですね。正直言って。で、ま、なぜなら、え、まず一つは先ほど言った、え、国民生活センターに寄せられる苦情というのは、これごく一部ですよね。っていうのは一つ。あ
NHK についてるか分かります。だ受信料だけでなく税金も入っている。これはまあかなり、えー、羨ましいなと。不平等かどうかはこれはあの人によると思います。Okay, so to answer your second question about、um, NHK versus other media in Japan,、um, it's true that NHK has, I guess, a more comfortable business model because people have to pay for the service.、Um, but obviously, whether, I guess, your own evaluation of the、uh, reporting that NHK does is up to the individual.、Um, in Watanabe san's opinion, NHK has a lot of really great programs, but maybe sometimes they don't do enough to.、Um, Question the government when it deserves to be questioned and fulfill the watchdog function.、Um, so, yeah, newspapers have a more, I guess, I guess a more difficult business model.、Um, and independent online media like us、um, also are still really small and st- struggling to make it financially.、Um, but, and so, among this, as newspaper circulation decreases and there's still no、um, Like concrete path to success for independent media,、um, but NHK can just、um, continue the way it is or continue to grow. And so that might be a dangerous trend because,、um, because if it doesn't sufficiently su- fulfill its watchdog function, then,、um, then who will fulfill that role?、Uh, but if you want to know more, I guess, about Where the NHK's money comes from, you can try using a database that we, had, we have helped create. It's available on our website. It's called Judge It, and you can, it's only in Japanese, unfortunately, but you can search it to see how the national budget is used. And if you、um, search NHK, then there'll be information about NHK's budget as well. Cal- Calden had a question about、uh, whether you cover foreign, foreign diplomacy stories, foreign stories. えー、と探査のです、ねえー、特徴は、えー、国際コラボレーションです、でこれまでもです、ねあのー、イギリスのガーディアンと、えー、東京の、えー、東映団地の孤独死の問題を一緒にやったり、あと、えー、石炭火力発電ですね、これの、えー、輸出ですよね、インドネシアであるとか、えー、そういったアジアに向けた輸出、これをいかに不,、あのー、不平等で、えー、そこでまあ今、また捜査がインドネシア当局がやってるんですけどもそういった石炭火力発電の輸出はあれはインドネシアのメディア、えー、韓国のメディアと一緒にコラボしてやりましたそして、えー、あとは、えー、最近で言うと、えー、加熱式タバコのアイコスですね、えー、これフィリップ・モリスが売ってるやつですけどもこれはいかに日本で爆発的に売れていったかといかにごまかしがあったかということをえー、OCCRP という、まあ、オーガナイズクライム専門の、えー、探査報道の、えー、プロジェクトチームですけどもそこと含めた世界10カ国で一緒にコラボで取材をしましたというようにこれからの、えー、問題と他にもいろいろコラボで今、えー、取材を進めているやつありますまだ出てませんけどとにかくあのこれからはもうどんな問題も国境を越えるのでいかに、えー、国際コラボレーションをやって、えーそして、えー、情報を世界で駆け巡らせてですねで事態を変えていくかということが重要になっていくと思います。So the short answer to your question is yes,、um, we definitely do cover international stories、uh, if Japan is involved.、Um, for example, up till now, we've done a number of international collaborations with、uh, foreign or overseas media organizations. Like, for example, with The Guardian, we investigated the phenomenon of solitary deaths of elderly individuals living in public housing in the Tokyo area. Or, for example, with、um, media organizations in Indonesia and South Korea, we investigated coal fired power plants in Indonesia that、um, Japanese and South Korean financial institutions are、uh, funding and helping support. And then another example is that、uh, we participated in a project led by the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project that looked into heated tobacco products, specifically the ICOS device、um, sold by Philip Morris, and the,、um, I guess the marketing techniques and other ways that Philip Morris tries to promote its heated tobacco product and whether or not, or I guess the.、Uh, 
I don't know, how they're bending the truth um, regarding heated tobacco. And so those are some past examples of uh, project, projects that we have already done, but we're currently also in the middle of a number of uh, international collaborations. So you can look forward to more in the future. Thank you. This gentleman here. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Richard Susilo from Indonesia. You are mentioning about the, the media from Indonesia. Which media from Indonesia you are collaborating? And what is the process right now? Second question regarding the, uh, you said that the uh, rural uh, financial the rural financial is better than the, uh, the center of uh, Japan. So could you elaborate about this one? Why? the financial strength in uh, rural area is better than uh, in uh, central of uh, Japan. And also, uh, the third question regarding what will happen to the uh, newspaper in Japan? Uh, because everybody, including Indonesia, also their goes online right now, also in the world. So do you think the, uh, the newspaper will ban bankrupt in Japan? Thank you very much. はいえー、とまず最初の質問ですけどもあの店舗と一緒にやりましたでこのきっかけは我々はあのグローバル・インベスティゲイティブ・ジャーナズム・ネットワークのオフィシャルメンバーです GIGN のでこれが、えー、唯一日本の報道機関としては我々加盟してるんですけどもこの GIGN というのはすごく貴重な、えー、コラボレーションでしてネットワークでして、えーまあ、カンファレンスが世界大会が2年に1回あるんですけどもアジア大会も2年に1回でそういったカンファレンスとかの場で知り合うんですよねそれで一緒にこのネタテーマでコラボしないかというようなマッチングというか交渉をそういったカンファレンスとかを通じてやりますでまあ店舗とはそういったきっかけで知り合ってコラボしました So to answer your first question about um, our partner media in Indonesia, we work with Tempo, um, which you probably know. Um, and we are a member of the Global Investigative Journalism Network. We're the first Japanese organization to become an official member. Um, and so as a member, we participate in the uh, international conferences or regional conferences that GIJN holds. And at these international conferences, there are lots of opportunities to meet with journalists from other countries and discuss potential uh, stories that we could collaborate on. So that's how our partnership with Tempo began. The second question is, why is the country strong in the region? This is my opinion, but in the region, the country is strong in the region. So the country is strong in the region. あの強いとお客さんがなかなか離れないで例えばあのこれも僕が、えー、朝日新聞で地方にいた時の経験ですけども地方紙がなぜ強いかって言った時にですねまあその地方紙の人が冗談でそれは奥闇欄があるからだとで奥闇欄が詳しいと奥闇欄って何かって言ったら誰かあの地域の人が、えー、亡くなった時にお葬式はいつありますと。こんな人柄の人でしたっていうのが二三行あってですね。それを見て、えー、地域の人たちは、えー、じゃあお葬式に行かなきゃとか、お悔やみを言わなきゃというような参考にします。そういった、えー、ローカルな非常に密着した情報が、えー、地方紙はあるので、だから、えー、安定しているということだと思います。Um, so a reason that、uh, regional newspapers are in a, I guess, a safer financial position than national newspapers. <笑> Is that, is that、um, well, this is just Watanabe san's personal opinion, but、um, it can be said that they, I guess they have a,、uh, maybe this wording is、um, a little strange, but like a captive audience, that they are the only source of information for that community or for that area.、Um, so, 
because they carry local information and not just um, like not just local stories, but also uh, information about local residents, like for example, um, obituaries or information about when the funeral of such and such person who passed away is being held. So it's a really uh, valuable source of information for those communities, and it's uh, really fulfilling a role for those communities. Yeah, so that's why um, they're in a bit more stable financial position than national papers. で、えー、3つ目の日本の新聞社がどうなるか、まあ、これも私の意見ですけどもとにかく日本の新聞社はあの大,きすぎる大きすぎるんですよねだから、えー、昔の、えー、一番ピーク時の読売新聞で1000万部とかですね朝日の800万部とかこれ異常ですよねこんなに部数の多い新聞社はなかった世界中でないでとにかく大きいでその大きさを支えていた部数を支えていたのは宅配制度なんですよねでまさにその宅配制度で、えー、今回のような問題が起きているから、えー、自分たちの生命線だからこういう犯罪まがいのことをしてでも部数を守りたがるということだと思うんですけどもとにかく、えー、読みたくて読んでるというような駅売りとかコンビニで買うとかってことではなくて宅配制度に支えられて大きくなりすぎたでこの大きくなりすぎたことが今大変な、えー、重荷になっていて。えー、毎年、えー、先ほどご紹介したように全国で270万部の部数が減っていくとでこのままの計算でいくと例えば全国紙なんかでいうともう10年後には部数はゼロになるんじゃないかと、えー、いう状況ですよねじゃあどうするかっていうことなんですけども僕はもう新聞社の人間でもないし経営者でもないので、まあ、あの自分たちが頑張るしかないというだけなんですけど。だけどまあ新聞社のことをえご質問があったのでお答えするならばあのとにかく例えば今え500万部ある全国紙がえ100万部になるなったとします100万部に減るってすごいですよね昔800万部とかあったんだからでだけど100万部自体減っても100万部ってそれでもすごいですよね部数としては。だけど問題は社員が多いってことです、数が。記者だけで2000人とかいるわけですね、全国紙だと。でこれだけの数の社員をがいると、やはりあの部数がの減少に追いついていかない、だからもうどうしようもないですよね。なので、僕もノーアイディアで、もしあるとしたら、例えばあの吸収合併するとか、どっか例えばアマゾンとか、ヤフーとか、ああいったところと一緒になるとか。っていいいう道しかかななんじゃないですかねただそうやって合併するにしても合併したいと思ってもらえるようなスリムな組織になっていないとなかなかそこも難しいと渡辺さんちょっと待ってくださいね<笑>かわいそうと思ってるか<笑> Thank you <笑>、um, Okay so about your third question of、um, the future of Japan's papers、um, This is again just Watanabe-san's opinion but、um, I guess the national papers were already too big to start with.、Um, yeah, too big to be sustainable, perhaps. Like, for example, Yomiuri,、um, the paper with the highest circulation in Japan and I believe also in the world,、um, it's had an incredibly large circulation. But this system was supported by、uh, the delivery, like door to door delivery of papers, rather than, for example, papers being、um, purchased at a convenience store or wherever. Um, so, because the delivery system and the sales network、um, was, I guess, evolved and optimized to a certain extent, it was able to support this、um, really high circulation level. But of course, as we talked about before in the beginning,、um, the circulation numbers are dropping dramatically every year、uh, at a rate of recently around two or two and a half million copies per year. So, who knows what will happen in 10 years? Will it be、um, next to nothing? It's hard to say.、Um, and another. I guess, comment about the already large size of Japanese national papers is that like, a single paper would employ、um, around 2,000 reporters.、Uh, and so they would also have a circulation figures that would support that kind of high level of staff as well.、Um, so maybe in the future, Japanese papers might be forced to、uh, join with.、Um, Like larger tech companies like Amazon or Yahoo,、uh, 
in order to support themselves financially, but it's hard to say. それでですね、じゃあ、えー、どうすればいいかっていうことなんですけど、まあ、新聞社、ね、潰れるのは仕方ないじゃないかと言ってもいいのかっていうことなんですけど、そこはそこで問題があると思います。なぜなら、やはりあのジャーナリストをですね、一人前にする教育、でちゃんと取材をして、正確な情報を記事にしていくという作業、えー、一人前にするのはですね、かなりやっぱ訓練がいるんですよね。でそういった訓練、教育機能、えー、一人前にしていくだけの時間とコストを、えー、新聞社がとか、まあ、テレビ局ですよね、そういったこ,うこれまでのメディアが、えー、担っていたと、じゃもしそれがなくなったらどうなるのか、みんなインターネットだから気軽に情報を発信できるけども、本当にプロとして頼るだけの、えー、情報を発信できるのかとで、ここの社会的コストみたいなところを、えー、新聞社が担えなくなったときに、じゃあ誰が担うのかという問題は日本にとって深刻だと思いますね。だからヤフーとかああいったプラットフォームはですね、えー、新聞社から、えー、記事を今買って、えー、そこのプラットフォームで流してますけども、だけど、えー、その情報自体を取材して発信するだけの教育的に、教育するためのコストを育てるコストですよね。これは新聞社が払ってきたんです、これまで。だからそれが新聞社がなくなってきたときに、じゃあ皆さんどうしますかっていうのは、われわれ自身が社会全体で考えなくちゃいけないと思います。So another point is that、um, if, in, should, as we can see, the newspaper industry is in decline,、um, but what should we do when we see that? Should we just leave newspaper companies to their fate, or should we, I don't know, Think more about、uh, where Japanese society is going with this issue.、Um, and in Watanabe san's opinion, what's really important is to,、um, I guess, train journalists and to make sure that people have the skills of journalists in Japan. Because even if、um, companies, media companies, come and go,、uh, what's really important for the public is people with journalistic skills, especially investigative skills. Um, because increasingly we can find so much information online, but,、uh, but the skills of being able to analyze it and really dig deeper to find hidden information are what will be increasingly valued in the future, probably.、Um, so even if, for example,、uh, a major paper might、uh, join together with Yahoo to have them. Post their articles or have their articles be disseminated, but the、um, time and effort to train really strong,、uh, competent journalists is an issue that we all need to think about critically going forward. Thank you very much.、Um, <clears throat> we have about a minute left,、um, and there is a very sort of important question which didn't come up, so I, I think I need to ask it.、Uh, it's about your subscriber base. So, you know, one of the interesting things for me, at least, and I think for a lot of people, is why. Uh, <clears throat> Japan has not developed a ProPublica or The Hill or any of the American sort of、um, you know, investigative, online investigative journal models. It doesn't seem to have happened here.、Um, so I'd be curious to know your opinion on why that is and also if you could explain your subscriber base. Presumably, you want people to subscribe to your newspaper. えー、それはとても難しい問題で<笑>、あのー、そうですね、なんでないんですかね、でえー、やはりまず生活がちゃんとできない、でえー、我々探査の場合は、探査報道ですね、インベスティゲイティリポートを専門としてやっています、えー、なので独立し、独立していなくちゃいけない、あらゆる。利害関係からなので、えー、市民社会の中から、えー、ドネーションをもらって、えー、それで運営しようというところなんでしょうけども、えー、そのドネーションがなかなか集まらないやはりそのジャーナリズムとかそういったものにドネーションをするということにまだ価値を見いだしていない
、なので、えー、なかなかそういったモデルの非営利独立の、えー、ニュースルームっていうのが出てこないっていうのがまあ,あると思います。だけども我々ジャーナリストあまずまずここで<笑>ありがとうございます。<笑> so um, to begin with、um, to ask, answer why、uh, there aren't、um, Any other or that many online investigative、uh, media outlets in Japan. Well, the first is that it's,、um, it's difficult to、um, be financially viable、uh, in the current, the current environment. And if you can't、uh, acquire the funds to support your newsroom and to support your reporters,、um, then I guess that's the most important part. If you can't pay your reporters a living wage, then you won't have any reporters.、Um, but That said, it's、uh, the most important thing for、uh, online investigative media is to be independent. So you can't give up your independence for financial security. So it's a really difficult、um, balance to find. And so in our case,、um, we look for、uh, or we try to find、um, donations from the average citizen and have the average citizen support our work、uh, voluntarily. We don't have a paywall. Um, but it's a difficult environment in Japan because there isn't、mm, much of a culture of people finding it natural to give donations to the media. And there's still sometimes、um, not as much understanding as we would like of the value of investigative journalism and the,、um, yeah, the necessary role that investigative journalism plays in society. So, We're still looking for some of those answers ourselves. それで大事なことはただその社会の,あの日本社会の文化のせいにしたらダメでやはりジャーナリスト当事者がしっかり勇気を持って行動するとだから我々も、えー、そうですけども、えー、生活ができなかったらどうしようとかいろいろな不安があるけどもそこはやっぱり一歩踏み出して、えー、リスクを取るということなんですねそこのリスクを取る人がなかなか出てこないと。でまあ、僕もそうですけどもこのアナリストもそうえタナさんのスタッフっていうのはみんなその辺のリスクを取って、えー、今チャレンジしているんですねだからそういった人がやっぱ出てこないと日本社会も盛り上がっていかないどんどん出ていかないとなのであの、えー、タナさんに、えー、我々には、えー、Please donate <笑> so,、uh, so although、um, we can To say things like, oh, there's not that much of a donation culture in Japan, or investigative journalism isn't understood, but that's really、um, that's putting responsibility on someone else, and there's、uh, also responsibility that we need to take for our own work and for what we want to accomplish.、Um, but given the current situation where there's not many people doing、uh, investigative journalism, it is a risk. Um, and because it's risky, because there's no guarantee of financial security,、um, and there's a lot of pressure against、uh, investigative journalists and their work,、um, so it is risky, and that's why not many people have done it in Japan.、Um, but yeah, all, all of our members have decided to take that risk.、Um, but maybe, as, as you can see, and if you check your, our website, you will see there are not that many of us. Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, the good news is my,、uh, my students are watching, so maybe、um, they'll step forward and help you out.、Mm, um, and please donate. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't say please donate. I'm not going to go that far. But I will say, of course, we wish you all the best、uh, in your venture. And、um, hopefully, you'll come back when you score your next big scoop. So please、uh, do so your appreciation for、uh, Makoto Watanabe, editor in chief of、uh, Newsroom Tansa. And、uh, of course,、uh, Annalise, who did such a great job of interpreting. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Thank everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, just a note, by the way,、uh, I did get a question online, but it arrived too late, so I'll pass it on to you uh, uh, personally, and maybe you could answer it if that's okay via、yeah, Elan. Yeah, thanks. And the other issue、uh, is that we give you a membership of the club、uh, for a year for turning up. Thanks very much. Thank you so much.